public inquiry is that some people who usually shut up, like uh, the former police chief Marc Parent, uh, he, I don't know if he said it uh, out loud, but uh, I think that he said that if he was uh, asked questions in the appropriate forum, he would answer them. And I think that a public inquiry would be the appropriate forum to, to, to interview people like Marc Parent and, and others. Yeah, I mean, as I said earlier, I think we need to know a lot more than we know now. Uh, and be a very good thing. We should know by the end of it how many journalists have been wiretapped, followed, put a GPS system on. We should really have a picture of journalist surveillance in Quebec. What What is the reality right now? Maybe it's just a tip of the iceberg that we know in the past. Am I wrong uh, in my understanding of the events that uh, when the complete flag of say event came out, the police chief was asked if there were any others, he said, as far as I know, not, and then it emerged that there were. Yeah, well, they, they play on the words. They, uh, they, 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 I, I was not involved in the interviews, but what I understand is that we, if we ask a question, he usually answers the minimum, and you have to ask a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions until uh, you reach the bottom of the uh, of what you're looking into, and quite often uh, you don't get hours with the police chief, so usually you just slip too. Uh, slip away. Right. Yeah. The, the Gazette, and this is public, the Gazette is asked uh, whether its reporters have been the subject of surveillance. And uh, the response we got was, well, we'll answer your, uh, we'll answer your question under the access to information law in 30 days, okay. which is absurd. That's a cultural problem. We're not asking for access for documents, we're asking a very simple question. Did you, did, were you, uh, were you surveying Gazette reporters or not? And they said file an agent. Pardon me? They said file an agent. They said file an access request. It's ridiculous. But that's an indication of guilt. Well, no. <laughs> so let's uh, open up some questions. Uh, and I'd uh, just like to um, uh, ask the uh, questions of members of the audience. Please uh, uh, have questions and direct them to uh, either one or more of the panelists. Um, so we'll start over here. Yeah. So, uh, I just like that. And if you would mind identifying yourself uh, at the beginning, uh, Philip Sukas. Uh, I'd like to uh, make a, a, a couple of points here. Uh, one is, why doesn't Karen uh, write up with Mark a, a law, a shield law, and, and propose it as a private bill to Trudeau? And, to, and also the journalists and the media industry themselves throughout Canada supporting this bill. Put his feet to the fire and, walk, and see what Justin Trudeau will have to do. I, 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 I would suppose that he would support it. And, Another issue about, uh, about the, the journalism is that the journalists themselves, to a large extent, are extremely, extremely, uh, they have a tremendous amount of blood on their hands, in a sense that many, many times they themselves cooperate through commission by omission, many, many of the money of the corruption that goes on in the city. They could expose us with a lot of the corruption if they don't for various reasons. For example, in the Gazette, they actually wrote that there's over 200 detectives in the Montreal that have carved up the district in their own fiefdom, collecting various uh, bribes, uh, money from, from drug dealers to drug gangs, which are tremendous, Jamaican gangs, Haitian gangs, uh, Russian gangs, uh, the mafia itself. And they themselves, the journalists, why have they written any articles, or even if you've written a book about all the corruption that exists in the Montreal police? The McLean's magazine actually said, Montreal and Canada, in Montreal and Quebec, are the most corrupt province in all of Canada. And, and none, none of these people have ever, ever done any investigations. If you want to go after Cordier and also the Montreal police, you can do uh, an investigation through other journalists, all of their backgrounds, and also the concentric circles. It, the only way you could retaliate against that type of corruption is by investigating them deeply into their own private lives. And one of the best ways is the accounting system. Go after their income taxes. Okay, From sir, there you can sir, trace everything. Sir, please, is there a question for the panel? Or, uh... Yeah, well, I mentioned about the, the shield, shield law, that they okay. should write a shield law. And they should investigate the, the, the corruption and expose it of the, of the Montreal police. Okay. There and write, they need to write a book about it. Thank you. There have been attempts to adopt a, to, to adopt a, a shield law. In Canada, in the past, uh, with Serge Ménard of the Bloc Québécois, who had tried for years to get his private bill passed, 
Uh, without success, and the key problem again there is defining what a journalist is. 